Hi, beautiful people. So let's talk outfit. Okay, so this jumper, I believe, is... Oh, no, let's start at the top. Come on. So we're going for these Emporio Armani sunglasses, which I love and adore. We've got Vivian Westwood studs in. We've got a Top Man jumper. I think it's Top Man. Then this fabulous, fabulous Devil's Advocate jacket. Let's put that down for a sec. Fabulous Devil's Advocate jacket, which I love. It's got the scalloped collar here. It's oversized. It's double-breasted, but I think it's rare that I would wear it buttoned up, but it's beautiful. Then we have a Longchamp belt. Won't lie to you all. Won't lie to you all. If I lose five pounds, this will be a little bit more comfortable than it is right now, but I was determined to wear it because I bought it, so I want to wear it. Um, then we've got a pair of ASOS jeans. I think ASOS do some of the best jeans, I won't lie. Kurt Geiger Wicked's, which you know I'm a huge fan of. And then we've also got the Longchamp Les Pliage. So that's the look, because we're heading to Bista. Let me know what you think. So, as I quite often do with these types of videos, I thought I'd also quickly share with you what's in my bag, um, particularly where I'm kind of going out and about. I like to show you what it is that I take with me. Um, I think people seem to enjoy these kind of what's in my bag videos, but let me know if you hate them. Let me know if you love them. Let me know. Anyway, let's quickly get into my bag. So, what is my bag? My bag today is a Longchamp Le Pliage medium top handle. Um, from the green collection. I have put this scarf on it that has a N on it for Nick. Um, beautiful colours and I thought this would work really well with what I'm wearing today but I've already told you about what it is that I'm wearing. So let's get into the bag. This has great capacity. Mine has an organiser in it. Well, a can you be called an organiser? A liner, a bag liner basically. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, also, if you can see my hoover, apologies, I was doing some cleaning. There it is. So, first things first, keys on a Longchamp key holder. Six ring, lost one of the rings, so it's now a five ring, but I haven't seen one that I like as much. This colour is really pretty, so I haven't replaced it. So, that's sticking with me. I think this is the best small leather good I've bought, is a six ring key holder. Yeah, brilliant. My Osprey London Leopard Cheetah Big Cat Print Pencil Case. Um, what pens have we got? We've got some colourful felt tips. We've got two Swarovski Biros, always with blue ink. Always blue ink. I immediately, when I buy these, ask them to switch the cartridges. You have to pay for the blue cartridges, but I only ever write in blue ink. My pink pen that I do a lot of writing in. And then a beautiful little Cartier number as well. Because sometimes we like to be fancy, don't we? So who doesn't like to write in Cartier? I mean, I think the ink is well and truly dry in it, but it, it could work. Long, uh, long shot, Kurt Geiger, long wallet. That's probably all pennies. <laughs> Look at me trying to convey there's loads of cash in it. No, that'll all be, that'll all be loose change. <laughs> but this is a great, great long wallet. I highly recommend these. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Very happy with this. Very happy with it. My Longchamp Powder Pink Mirror. This is one of the mirrors that folds. So you're able to place it on a table and, um, if you've got something in your eye or reapply makeup or check whatever you need to check, like you can do it by holding it or unfolding it and placing it on the table. So these are really good. Um, I buy those for people as gifts quite often and they're always very well received. A bottle of water. It is hot at the moment in the UK. Um, is it normally this warm this time of year? Not really, but it's also very humid. Um, so I make sure to keep a bottle of water that I can then refill throughout the day without having to spend three pounds for one in pret a manger or Pratt. Is it Pratt now? Used to be pret a manger Is it now Pratt? Glasses case. So this has my reading glasses in it. Um, that was a different pair. I have multiple pairs of reading glasses on the go at any one time. Um, 
and then that will have my Armani Sunnies in it when it's time to switch out to glasses, a iPhone cable that'll be for the car. Speaking of the car, car keys with a Kurt Geiger and a Longchamp key ring. AirPods case. I am meeting someone, but of course, it's, you know, if people get delayed or whatever. Um, this is in a Karl Lagerfeld case. I'm missing out half the details, aren't I? Uh, what else have we got? We've got, uh, let's quickly do what's in here, what's in here? Ah, oh, sweets. I always take sweets with me. This time I'm taking Stinger bars. I bought that big box of 60, if you remember from a previous video. Um, and then we also have the Longchamp nylon pouch. I think these are fantastic. This is a club pouch. Again, I also buy these for people as gifts and they're really well received. So we have dental picks, hand sanitizer. This is a cute little slimline Kath Kidson. Um, my vitamin C and zinc that's dispersible in water. I'll use that later. Um, face and neck cream. I don't know about anybody else, but particularly if I'm somewhere where there's a lot of air conditioning, I can feel my skin drying out. And as I use a lot of self-tanner as well, my skin is, is always a little bit drier um, because those types of products tend to dry it out anyway. So I have to work a little bit harder to keep my skin moisturized. A comb, this is a bamboo wood comb that I broke um, a couple of weeks ago, but still a really good comb. Um, a little bit of Hide the Blemish, Rimmel London, that's my favorite one, always keep those with me. A Zara fragrance, these are lovely. My most complimented fragrances are my Zara ones, funnily enough, and they are the least expensive. That and the only one that's ever come close, I would say, is Blue de Chanel. But that's very expensive, so. Um, paracetamol, because, you know, headaches can happen. Neosporin, in case you get a cut. My Olbus oil nasal stick, in case I get congested. A pair of tweezers, I think everyone should carry a pair of tweezers with them. Some bobby pins. I do use bobby pins in my hair, so that always makes life easier if I've got a few spare. Oh, there's an additional one. I always lose them as well. And then a nail file. This one has seen better days. Should probably replace it. But there we are, everyone. That's what's in my bag for going to Bista Village. So let's carry on with the rest of the vlog. See you in a little bit. Bye. So let's chat. Why are we heading to Bista? Well, we are heading to Bista to go and see a friend. Many of you will be familiar with this individual. I will give you a couple of clues. UK-based YouTuber, lover of Louis Vuitton, lover of a Louis Vuitton Capucines, also a lover of Chanel. So, does that give you a clue of who we're going to see? very excited about today. What's on my list? I'm thinking summer pieces. Not that you would know it because although I look like I might be dressed a little bit for summer, the UK is having different thoughts when it comes to the weather. It's very warm, but it's looking a bit dreary. But I'm thinking summer. I'm going to Barcelona in July and I would really love some new like swimwear, some new summery pieces. I don't dress particularly summery and I'm a fan of layers. So actually I'd really love maybe some like great t-shirts or great polo shirts, some great shorts. Um, I need a new pair of slides. I've been talking about getting new slides for quite a long time. So there are just a few things that I just need to pick up. Um, and that's what we are going to do. Okay. So without further ado, let's crack on. So here we are. Who's excited for a day of shopping? Love, Kenzo. I love Bista Village. It's just such a nice place to shop. Such a nice environment. It's open. It's airy. A little bit of Verve Clico. Who doesn't love Verve Clico? So have just arrived at Bista Village. Going to go and probably get a coffee and then start to have a mooch. So, like I said, I'm looking for some summer pieces, um, but then I'm also very intrigued by Longchamp as always, Mulberry, Karl Lagerfeld, you know, my usual list of places to go. Vivian Westwood, because I might see if they've got some more jewelry. I've plonked myself next to this very bright Verve Clicquot sign. 
but yeah, let's go and have a little look. I'm also quite excited to go and look in some of the other brands that I don't normally look at quite so much. Um, so I might go and have a little look in Gucci and Prada. Um, and yeah, let's see what looks good, what looks tasty and enjoy. So there are always installations at Bista and look how cute this Fendi one is. I absolutely love it. I can't tell if that's a shirt or a jacket, but it looks fabulous. And look at those shoes, how amazing. And I think they are wedges, so they should be fairly comfortable. They're really cool. That dress is beautiful. Stunning. Right, and here we are, everyone. Look who I have found wandering around by the Fendi installation, no less. The fabulous Steph. Hi. <laughs> Say hello to Steph. So many of you will be familiar with Steph from the fabulous channel Handbag Holic. We recently did our shopping vlogs together in London. We, we will did. get to that in a minute, that bag. <laughs> um, but we recently did our shopping vlog together yeah. in London. We had to do another one. So much fun. We've been chatting ever since. But let's do a quick outfit here, Steph, because yeah. there is a fabulous, fabulous piece that forms part of this outfit. So let's go. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I am wearing, so I'm dressed for summer, even though it's kind of spitting rain at the minute, but that's UK, isn't it? It is. Um, I have a Zara play suit on. Fabulous. Some trainers from Bulo Boss. There we go. And my first ever outing of my Louis Vuitton Capucine bag, the Look Stardust at version. That. It's gorgeous. It's this beautiful, it's like. like yellow and pink yeah, yeah. like yeah. an apricot it kind of comes out but yes and stunning is that mother of pearl the yes, inlay the pearl inlay beautiful yeah fabulous and then the sunnies sunnies are louis vuitton fabulous yeah absolutely fabulous yeah. well anyway we're going to go and check out some sales we're going to go and check out some beautiful stores we'll of course capture what you can yeah. steph's channel will be linked below and we hope you enjoy Let's go. Okay, now this is very much my vibe. We're talking pink, we're talking green. Love this tote. There's a few different versions of that available. This green is beautiful. Silver hardware. Vivian Westwood does a lot of silver hardware. This pink is just so pretty. These are about, I think they're about 230 or so pounds. Very durable material. We've got some hats and things like that. Got the same thing in blue. That white tote is stunning. Love. So what do we have here? We have a really fun clutch. Stop climate change. Beautiful. These had an additional 20% off them. Beautiful pink with silver hardware. Love a flat bag style. Such nice pieces. You can do a lot with Vivian Westwood. I think they're very versatile and the prices are incredibly reasonable. Beautiful top handles and some fun fabric pieces as well. Beautiful pink. Absolutely love this. And these shoes I thought were gorge as well. Annoyingly, they didn't have my size. So we just had a quick look in Vivian Westwood. I was hoping to see if I could find some more earrings, but unfortunately they only had really large ones and that's just not what I'm looking for. But beautiful pieces. Um, they had a great um, piece that I'm trying to convince Steph to buy. Um, so we'll see. They also had some lovely bags and yeah, let's see where we go for the rest of the vlog. As a Disney lover, I just had to try on this piece in Stella McCartney. I always say I'm not a tote person, but I gravitate towards the shape of them. This was really cute. It matched what I was wearing beautifully. Maybe I could have picked it up. It was stunning. And you had this gorgeous mini Falabella in the spikes in the PVC. A really unique and fun piece. So here we have the window display at Todd's and quite a summery kind of vibe that they've got going on here with You've got some wedges, espadrilles, a quite classic wallet, and you've got these quite beachy style bags, a great um, combo in the back there with the blouse and the trousers. Um, yeah, some fun raffia, wicker embroidered type pieces. Good fun. Todd's had some very beautiful styles in very saturated colours, which I love to see. So we have some beautiful pieces in Todd's. Very, very mature in terms of the aesthetic, but lovely nonetheless. And here you go. Look at this, I think this is beautiful. Very sophisticated. Very nice. Ditch my bag on the floor. Obviously Todd's are very well known for their shoes. 
you're looking at 315 pounds for those driving shoes. And I have to say, when I first walked in, whilst it's not a bag style I would go for, how beautiful is that colour? Absolutely stunning. And you've got these pony hair pieces as well. So these are 196. Really fun, quite an edgy top handle as well. That comes in pink and brown as well. So here we've got some more shoes in a variety of colours backless shoes, kind of driving shoe styles, um, or with the logo. How fabulous is that pink mock croc? Of course, I was drawn to those. Then you've got these beautiful white pairs with a variety of hardware. So you've got an aged gold, shiny silver, um, beautiful. Some graffiti pairs, leopard print or animal print. A couple of the bags up here as well. Really fun. Nice pieces, very sophisticated. So these are Hogan. So I don't know if this is the same brand as Todd's, but these are nice nonetheless. I really like those white trainers. Um, but you did also have Todd's branded trainers. So he had white with um, caramel as an accent, um, some multicolor trainers. They looked very comfortable and the prices were reasonable. She did a lot with loafers and driving shoes, which Todd's is quite well known for, isn't it? Trying on a Bottega Jody in the large size, the colors in Bottega were gorgeous. They just do color so well. Beautiful heels, beautiful shoes, some really fun pieces. I love those um, boots with the thick blue sole. So what do we have here, everyone? We have some beautiful plush Bottega trainers. Incredibly, incredibly soft, incredibly comfortable, around 160 pounds, an absolute bargain. If that's the style of shoe you're looking for. What, that bag? These gorgeous boots with the beautiful contrast sole. My one reservation on them is that they're quite heavy. They also made these comfy shoes in blue. They're so pretty. And these were fun as well, like a bit of a slipper, but could be worn outdoors. Super fun. I thought the price point on this, £235 for a Bottega robe. Bargain. And at Tree Stop for lunch, this was delicious. And I paired it with cucumber and mint salsa. Steph had a salad bowl as well and had an iced tea. Beautiful Alexander McQueen. Look how fun this denim suit is. Love the formality of a suit mixed with the ease of denim. Okay, so how cool is this jacket? In the McQueen print in a kind of camel colour, you're looking at 1405. Got some ready to wear here as well. Got a great kind of cardigan. Another amazing sort of bomber jacket. Fabulous suit. Beautiful. What is this? Beautiful snake skin. Fabulous crystal encrusted pouch. Looking at £210 for a belt. Fabulous. Some more athleisure looking pieces here. What are we looking at price-wise? See if I can find one for you. Oh, where are the prices? So these would be 315. Apologies for the strobing. These would be 275. No. So I was having a fantastic time trying on these crossbodies. I actually really love them, and I'm not a crossbody person, as many of you know but I could be converted for these. Now I might be in the minority here, but I would totally buy some of these if they were in bigger sizes. They're part of the ladies collection, but I love the bright colors and the glitter and they're gorgeous. So much pink. I love these edgy bags. Not the most practical, but they were fun and beautiful colors and great top handles and intricate details. How beautiful. And these gorgeous scarves. I love that blue, it's stunning. Who doesn't recognise an Alexander McQueen scarf? They are so iconic. So this is really, really cool. And I have to say, the pieces, I would say, from the ladies' collection are more striking than the men's. They are also 
in some really amazing price points versus the men's, which is much more expensive. Love these bags. And this jewelry is gorge. Look at those wallets or wallet on chain type pieces. Beautiful, these very striking, ready to wear pieces, that dress, this is stunning jacket. Look at the embellishment on that. Price point wise, we are looking at 7,740. And then you have these beautiful, beautiful pieces here. So this jack, this coat, which is gorgeous, is circa 600 pounds. And this coat dress is 480. What amazing prices. So here we are in Longchamp. We have some mailboxes, some small mailboxes, a mixed material navy suede leather combo, sunglasses, beautiful. Some Rousseau's here, crossing over with Steph. <laughs> so you've got the red, you've got the blush pink in a tote, and then you've also got it in a top handle there, and these Rousseau kind of crossbodies. Uh, Lace and Lon backpacks, camera bags, shoulder bags, not crap. We have some fun shoes in Saint Laurent. Those are fun. You've got some backpacks, little leopard print, zebra print. Fun, bold. I mean, I can see why some of this has ended up in the outlet, can't you? But it's fun nonetheless. Super cute heart sunglasses. Very novelty. Crossbody bags. These looked a little less expensive in person than you would want them to, but nice nonetheless. Nero was trying on a couple of beautiful pink pieces, a Sade clutch, and I think that was a Shearling Lulu. The metallic is gorgeous, and these sexy, sexy heels are. Oh, if they'd been my size, they would have been coming home with me, because they were really good price point. We were having a lot of fun trying on the YSL bag, so here we are with two puffers. You're looking at 1,780 for the purple, about 2,000 for the grey, I think fairly reasonable. Okay, so after a slight drama of having lost an earring, we're back in business. Um, but we have some beautiful pieces here. So some of this I think we spoke about in the Mulberry Sale overview. So you've got this beautiful kind of amethyst purple. That's the link bag there, I believe. You've got mini Bayswaters. waters. You've got lilies. You've got beautiful bays waters here as well. So you've got that studded bays water at the bottom. But then you've got this black bays water with silver hardware, but leather coated where a lot of the hardware would normally be. Stunning, stunning pieces. Got the small Sadie satchel, which has that typography. The color isn't coming out quite as it is on um, in real life um, on the camera, but beautiful. I always pick this up as well. No shock. Those are in the sale. They deserve to be. Yes. Beautiful softies. This softie I really like. The big softie is horrific. And then you've got the softie SLGs. You've got a softie here. I adore this bag. I always have, but it still hasn't dropped into a price point that I feel comfortable paying so for. So here we have some more of the clearance items. So more base waters. This. And then these are Dali's. And this has this kind of blue side um, Perspex handle. This base water is 65. It's a mixture of suede and dark brown leather. It's actually really pretty. And then this. I once owned. Not that exact one but one nonetheless. Okay, so we have had some success in Mulberry, a couple of small pieces. Um, we had an earring fiasco, but look, do you know what? All's well that ends well. So we're doing all right. Steph, how are you finding it? What are you thinking? 
good. I'm just sad they didn't have the portable blue Mini Alexa in the That would have been that would have been good. I know. That would have been good. But I think seeing as it's in your car, I think you probably just need to yeah. transact. Yeah, I need to order it online. Fab. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to crack on. I think we might go and get another drink as well, and we're going to see what the rest of Vista Village has to offer. Yeah. Let's go. Beautiful Louboutins. I love Louboutin heels. Don't own any, but they're stunning. The colours they had this time were gorgeous. And they had some really beautiful special editions. Um, those crystals in the back with the lilac, the pastels. You were looking at about 30% off the Louboutins, which I don't think is a bad price point, to be honest. You had the Palomas. I was loving, loving the colours. They're just so pretty. Absolutely, those pink soakates, divine. These boots would be beautiful to wear. Louboutins are just iconic, aren't they? Here we have some stunning pastels, bright colours, that beautiful bright kind of mustard. That wouldn't normally be something I would be attracted to, but I think the spikes with the suede, beautiful loafers, gorgeous gorgeous evening shoes if you were looking for evening shoes and we're now going to go and take a look in Dolce & Gabbana I think Dolce & Gabbana do some of the most beautiful beautiful prints absolutely stunning I love their florals I love their use of color I think they're absolutely stunning he had a mixture of shoes and ready to wear and bags you have those camo bags there these are Sicilies, kind of padded Sicilies. I've always been a fan of the Sicily bag. I've thought about buying one from time to time. Those gorgeous pink. Had to take a look at the pink. Come on, it wouldn't be this channel if I wasn't looking at pink. These are very pretty, these Sicily bags. I thought this was stunning. Very simple, but effective. And who isn't devoted to fashion? Dolce & Gabbana certainly were. I love the mechanism on this. It was so interesting beautiful fun these reminded me of legos i just love the creativity of dng time to stop for a drink and a chat and yeah a little bit of a download ferragamo had some beautiful colors and patterns not necessarily bag styles that i would go for but they really did have beautiful patterns and colors and the scarves look at the Look at the print on this. It's absolutely stunning. You could hang that on a wall and it would be art. And they did it in multiple colours. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really liking that tote bag. The print's really pretty and so are those clutches. I'd love to know what you all think of Ferragamo. Is it a brand that you look at? Here we have some fun SLGs with some bows and some prints. That bucket bag is really cute as well. But how many bucket bags does one person really need? AirPods cases. These are really, really pretty. Silver hardware. Love silver hardware. Price points feel reasonable in here as well, up to about 50%. So if you missed out on Fendace, Bista in Fendi did have a few pieces. Not some of the more elaborate pieces, but some nice ones nonetheless. You have the Calibri heels, I believe they're called. And I loved, loved, loved these wedges with the mixture of the fur. They were gorgeous. And uh, who doesn't need a Fendi ping pong set? Why on earth not? Here we have Steph modelling one in the tan. But let's be serious. We're just looking at that gorgeous Capucines, aren't we? Givenchy isn't a brand that I often look at. But maybe I need to keep a little bit more of an eye. Um, I particularly liked the bags. I loved this soft, this soft Antigona. I thought it was gorgeous. Those shoes were fun. They had some fun pieces. The bags were nice. The shoes were nice. There's an edge to Givenchy, isn't there, that I really appreciate. I'm, I do need to look at them all. Was this the Pandora? It's a fun little piece. The Disney collection was really fun as well. I have to say I really regret not picking up the shopper tote when they did that with Disney. Some beautiful pieces in Karl Lagerfeld. I really like those trainers, the beautiful pink, some great ready to wear. That denim jacket's fun, isn't it? With the crystal detailing, some really fun totes, monogram. I find Karl Lagerfeld to be really good value and the pieces are really durable. You get great value for money. Um, and they're just a little bit of fun. They're a little bit different. 
you don't see a huge amount of Karl Lagerfeld. I enjoy them. Um, and I liked that denim pouch. I also quite liked the orange. Right, so we are doing well, team. We have some bags clocking up here, okay? So we've just been to Karl Lagerfeld and we had success there. So we've got a couple of the pieces that I was planning on buying have been bought and yes, I'm happy so far. So we've got a few more stores to do and yeah, it's been a good day. It's about 5 p.m. We've, we've been making our way around the stores. Ah, those heels are like liquid gold. Look at how beautiful. These are so pretty. 415 pounds. I don't think that's bad. Those red ones have been here a long time, but they're beautiful. This pink is stunning as well. Gosh, that glitter. 395. They're really showstopper shoes, aren't they? You would definitely get noticed in those. Jimmy Choo just have some of the most beautiful shoes. Their silhouettes are so stunning. Those shoes were about 5,000 pounds originally. There were lots of bags to choose from. You could do more formal bags, more summery bags. I loved these heels, the way that they'd mix those natural materials with the high glamour crystals. Stunning. I love the contrast of it. So what do we have here? Lots of crossbody bags. MCM often has good crossbody bags. 416 for that pink fuchsia. Some embossed kind of prints. That's beautiful, isn't it? And oh, those those kind of toys that's so cute this toe is lovely that's really beautiful isn't it that color is stunning this backpack so darn cute 300 pounds though so i always like seeing what prada has to offer i like how they have multiple logos makes it feel more timeless this green was very ibiza beautiful the camera's not doing it justice this terry cloth was fun as well. Not colours that I would buy, but fun nonetheless. And I think this bucket bag was possibly one of my favourite pieces. They didn't have as many of the outlandish pieces that they often have, but it was nice to see some other items. This was Mew Mew's answer to the Mulberry Softy. Funnily enough, I prefer this, although it's still not great. They had a lot of shoes in the additionally reduced section, many of which you can understand how they got there. Like these red shoes, click your heels together, you definitely want to go home so you weren't seen out in those. And I love these kind of knitted runners, like this Balenciaga Speeds. So here is Gucci and a few of the pieces in the window, as you can see, that classic red and green stripe. Now I'm quite a big fan of this Soho. Um, I think it's the Soho. Uh, tote bag. Really like the silver hardware. Love this kind of cream colour. Very nice. So the Hacker Project with Balenciaga has made its way to the outlets. I really liked the Blooms version. Where are you all standing on Balenciaga? I would really be interested to know. Here we had some really beautiful kind of ready to wear. Very fun. Um, very vibrant. Very bold. I actually was really enjoying the pieces in Gucci, I have to say, because they felt unique, like the Dionysus bags. They had some really interesting and intricate Dionysus bags. Look at that pink and look at that version at the back with the beautiful embellishments. They are stunning. These Marmonts as well. The Marmont gets a, gets a hard time. It doesn't deserve it. This pink in the snakeskin with the silver hardware, the multicolour. The store was really pretty. Had some really beautiful pieces. Was not a colour I would choose. I did like this small tote. Reminded me a little bit of the Chanel GST. Like I said, I think the Marmont range gets a hard time unnecessarily. So what are you wearing these for? The blue's grey. I like that blue. Fun kind of holiday shoes. Jelly. Yeah, jelly shoes. £190 for these, I believe. A little bit of a Grinchy Gucci moment. I believe that to be a t-shirt. These were nice. These are very nice. I like the top handles. Really liked that large white tote. And this pink snake mock snakeskin was stunning. Gucci Rissima. Um, kind of embossed or... Is that embossed or debossed? Not sure. 
These were nice pieces. I'm a fan of the Boston bag style, I have to say. I think it looks good. And these were really beautiful Dionysus bags. They had a lot of Dionysus bags, which I think is a really fantastic style from Gucci. How sexy are those Balmain heels? Love them in the nude. They are stunning. This coat was a great price. This was sub £1,000 for a Balmain jacket. Absolutely beautiful. £954 down from 3195 A third of the price. You had these absolutely stunning jackets and crop tops, bralettes. Really fantastic pieces. Uh, there were... Quite a few pieces in Balmain, actually, that were more than 50% off, which makes a huge difference. So here we have Steph modelling a Balmain blazer in a beautiful pink. Absolutely gorgeous. This one has a tie on it. How much is it? 995. It's not bad. Reduced from 2200. Yeah, it has like a tie weight. Lovely. And it comes with shorts. Well, it doesn't come with them, but you can buy them. These shoes were a standout. I love the materials. I think they gave them such depth and we know how I feel about a pastel. This jacket was beautiful as well. It's £950 down from circa 2000 So around 50% off. Those gilets as well. Fantastic. I like Balmain. I thought this outfit was great. And we were lusting over the Verve Clicquot. But we'd driven so we couldn't have anything. So guys, we have had a really good day. Steph, have we had a really good day? Amazing day, Nick. Yeah, we've had, a, we've had a lot of fun. We've had some success. So there are some pieces here, some pieces here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna need you to do is once you finish watching this vlog, at some point in the not so distant future, I'll do a quick unboxing of what's going on. And then what you're gonna have to do is go over to Steph's channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, <laughs> make sure you keep your eyes peeled for some amazing content and eye candy. And also you'll get to see what is in that amazing Alexander McQueen carrier yes. bag right there. So <laughs> make sure to keep your eyes peeled. Thank you so much as always for joining. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Thanks, Take care guys. everyone, bye. bye.